Welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're talking about Glowfish Tetra. Glowfish Tetras are genetically modified versions of the Black Tetra. These vibrant fish were first created by inserting fluorescent genes from jellyfish and coral into the eggs of Black Tetras, resulting in the bright glowing colors we see today. Initially developed for scientific research to detect environmental pollutants, they quickly gained popularity in the aquarium trade due to their striking appearance and hardiness. An interesting fact about glowfish tetra is that their fluorescent colors are inherited and can be passed down to their offspring. This means that even in natural lighting they can exhibit their glowing hues, which are even more pronounced under blue or black light. Glowfish tetras are small, typically growing to about 2 inches in length. They come in various fluorescent colors including electric green, sunburst orange, and galactic purple. Their bodies are semi-transparent allowing their vibrant colors to stand out. They have a distinctive oval shape with long flowing dorsal and anal fins. Glowfish tetras are relatively easy to care for, making them ideal for both novice and experienced aquarists. They thrive in tanks of at least 10 gallons. Water parameters should be maintained with a pH between 6.5 and 7.5 and a temperature range of 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They prefer well-filtered, clean water with regular water changes to ensure their health and vibrancy. Glowfish tetras are social, schooling fish that do best in groups of six or more. They are peaceful and can coexist with a variety of other community fish such as guppies, mollies, and catfish. Avoid housing them with larger aggressive species that might bully or eat them. Glowfish tetras are primarily kept for their ornamental value, adding a splash of color and excitement to aquariums. They are active swimmers and can be very entertaining to watch, however it's important to avoid keeping them in tanks with poor water quality as their vivid colors can fade and they can become susceptible to diseases. Additionally, they should not be exposed to extreme lighting conditions, which can stress them. And that's all for today on today's guide of Glowfish Tetras. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your question or experiences. Happy fish keeping, and we'll see you in the next video.